many of you know here at Hallmark, there are very few things that we love more than helping our furry friends find their forever homes. And here with a very happy tale is our pet rescue expert, Larissa, with Daniel Soyseth oh and beautiful Apollo. Oh my goodness, I can't even stand it. Now, Larissa, he's so cute. I understand that you had a hand in this. Yes, he's a, he's a beautiful boy, isn't he? So Daniel is married to a woman named Tracy. Their daughter wanted to volunteer with animals. So of course, I'm like, sign me up. What can I do to help? You know, anybody who wants to help, Great. I'm there. So she went to a volunteer or an adoption event that I set her up with with the wonderful rescue hand in paw and lo and behold they met Apollo who needed a foster home for a week, for a week. and it wasn't even <laughs> Sophia week. that said we need to foster I'm pretty sure it was Daniel but <laughs> I don't know I'll let you take it from there yeah they <laughs> this girl brought in these two puppies and they needed a home and the woman that ran their adoption was like I don't have any fosters for this what am I gonna do oh, man. and Tracy or Sophia's like can can we do it dad can we do it and I'm like oh Ask your mom and text, <laughs> texted her mom and she texts back, it's on you. Of course. Like, okay. So I was like, okay, for a week, we'll do it for a week. Good for you. But pretty but, but what happened was a week turned into a well, lifetime. What because... happened was is we got she picked him. I actually liked his sister better. Um, so Sophia picked him and we got him in the car and I put him in the back seat with her and he literally laid down in her lap oh, and man. fell asleep. There and oh, as man. I looked at that, I took that picture in the back of the car, I was like, we're screwed. Yeah, and you know what's so so funny is I, I brought him on the show as an adoption because you guys were still fostering yeah. him for okay. quite a few weeks. It was still a foster. So I brought him on as an adoption. And he was a little baby. And I feel like he got home from that and Daniel I'll put, tell you. said, nope, he's not going to leave. Well, that left, was too scary. I, I took our other dog for a walk that day when he was here. And when I got home, we had a pen in the living room for him that he stayed in. And I saw that empty with his little toy, and I was like, oh, no. Aww. And I called Tracy, and I was just like, we're not taking, that, that dog's coming home. He's staying with us. He's gonna Aww. be ours. Aww. That's so sweet. And that's, it's a beautiful and thing. It, but it's so funny, it's because you, you did not want to adopt him. No, and now was, I wasn't looking for another animal. <laughs> right, right. He's a pretty good one. But you say that adopting, uh, I mean, it really changed your lives. You Absolutely. It really had a great effect on it was all of them. great for the whole family, and then especially our other dog, who's eight. Um, he was a fountain youth for her. She was just kind of laying around, and then he came along, jumping and biting her ears, and she just came to life, which was great. Yeah, and that's something people should know, is sometimes if you have an older dog, the two of them bringing in a newer dog, a younger dog, I should say, can sometimes breed so much life into both of them, including the whole family, and Nikki there looks really happy. I, mean, I know, I and really I really do. And Daniel, I know that you actually, um, you have a little, thing that you do with Apollo, where you, you rock well, him I like did, a baby. Well, I did, but he's a little big for that. He's a little yeah. big for that. I'm trying to figure out how you're still doing As he was a little puppy and as he was Look. growing, I would hold him in my lap and I'd put my chin on his head and I'd call him, I'd be like, are you my baby, are you my baby? And now he's a little big for that, but he still likes it. Oh, <laughs> what do the kids think of that? Um, they think I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's I said, right. is this your third child? He goes, no, no, this is my baby. This is my baby. <laughs> yeah, I think. Just don't put him in a stroller, please, no, because no, no, you know no. the ones who put him in strollers. <laughs> uh, no, I want to uh, ask you, you're really the perfect person for this question, because as we said, you weren't planning on bringing home a third animal, because uh, you have Nikki and you have a rescue kitty as well, but you did. So what would you tell other people who are maybe on the fence about rescuing? I would say go out and see these dogs, see these animals. There's so many of them that need homes, and I'm telling you, this guy's changed my life. How? He's just brought so much joy, and just, uh, you know, the kids love him, and just the youthful exuberance of a puppy mm. around. It's really nice. And as he learns, he's really smart, and it's just kind of, like, cool to see that all come together. How old is he now? He's less than a year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Is he full-grown? I think he's pretty close. Pretty close, probably. He still has a little bit more to get. I mean, more to go. And I know that he's he's a big bundle of energy, yeah. but it's yeah. it's great that you're kind of watching him transform. I know you're working with him with a lot of different training because yeah. that's what you have to he's do with those great. puppies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's doing really, really. I mean, well. he, and all the activity that we have here uh, at home and family, and he's, he's so hanging excited. in there and he's just excited to be around. But he's 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 a good boy. And he smells the peanut butter. He's he very, smells he's the peanut butter in the kitchen because he wants the peanut butter. He wants oh my, my caramel apples. Would you call this coat Brinda? 
brindle? What kind of coat is that? Well, so it's more kind of a spotted Dalmatian almost. Oh, yeah. coat. Now he's definitely Stunning. got cattle dog. He's definitely a herder. You know, when okay. he's running around, he needs a lot of exercise. Okay. He herds and, Nikki. Yeah, exactly. He and he's probably got some bully breed in him, which also really? just goes to show. Oh yeah. Maybe a little pit which also it. just goes to show how wonderful bully breeds, even if there's one percent in there, can really be for families. They used yeah. to be known as nanny dogs because they watch over everybody, like he does with the little oh ones gosh, and the dog. So. So we look at it's him. always yes. so inspiring to hear these stories. Thank you so much, Daniel, <laughs> Apollo, Daniel. Larissa, of course. Thank you, uh, the final count, did we say the count? Yes, no, the final count. Now we are at, I want to say, not six, final, but current. Not five. The current tally is 674. Oh my wow. God. So we are making so amazing. Thank you, so much, Thank you See Larissa. All the dogs that we showcase each and every day go to hallmarkchannel.com. Also, savedbythel.com oh. and check them all out. We love hearing love this. Come here. Come on, Apollo. Come here, Apollo. Come on.